Hello everyone, here we will discuss about black box testing. That's a kind of testing inside functional testing. Black box testing analyzes the functionality of a software application without knowing uh, much about the internal structure or design of the product that is being tested. Here the tester will simply uh, pass some input value and will check whether the output is as expected or not. Here, the tester is completely unaware of the code that is written behind the product that is being tested. So such kind of testing we call as black box testing. Black box because you can't uh, see through it. You can't see what is inside that box. So such, such kind of testing is known as black box testing. It is also known as closed box testing, opaque box testing, behavioral testing, specification based testing. Here you are simply checking the uh, behavior of your product. You are completely unaware of how this product is made. You have to check how this product is responding to your input values and whether this response is as expected or not. Let's see. Here, uh, this is the application that is to be tested. Here are various fields like name, email, website, and I'll pass some values like I'll give my name, I'll give a mail ID, and uh, I'll give some website and I'll, I'll fill all these fields and I'll send it. And we'll try to observe whether this output is correct or not. I'll check whether if I'll pass numeric values inside name field, whether it will accept it or not. So all these things come inside black box testing. Here you don't know what is the code uh, written behind this page and uh, how this name field is made, how this email field is made, what are the validations that are put behind all these fields and everything related to coding you are completely unaware of. Only the thing that you know is you have to test this application. You have to record all the responses and make sure that these are the required uh, responses uh, that are to be expected by customer. Let's take another example. Here, uh, this is flight reservation application. We have a username and password. If I'll give invalid username and password, what it will do, whether it will again take me to registration page or not, all these things I can check. And I have a registration page, a support page, contact page. All these pages are responding or not. All these links are working and uh, these are different fields. If I'll miss any of these fields and try to uh, submit this form, uh, what output I'll get. So such kind of things come inside black box testing where you can't see anything behind uh, this product, where you can't see how this product is made. Only the thing that you know is how this product is responding to your inputs and you have to record that response and you have to check it whether it is the actual one or not. That's all about black box testing. And the difference between black box testing and white box testing is that Inside uh, white box testing, you are actually you have to actually go through the code and you have to check where the problem is. But inside black box testing, you need not to worry about what the code is, how it is written, and how it's working. You simply have to check whether your product is responding properly or not. If it is not, you have to report this is a problem and it's not responding as expected. That's the basic difference between black box and white box testing, and it's all about black box testing.